Hey guys, Ty here. If you clicked on this video, you're probably looking for the best settings in Valorant. Well, I got you covered. In this video, I will show you the best settings within Valorant and the best out of the game tweaks and things you could do to boost your FPS and gain the best competitive advantage. First, why do things I found be the best? Well, I got years of competitive gaming experience behind me and in every single game, I'm going through all the settings to get the best competitive advantage. Whether it's through ping, FPS, through sound, and you know, you don't have to take my word for it, take Shrouds or Brex or many other pro players, since I've extensively done research into their settings and combined the best possible version for you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into the settings. Alright guys, we start off at general. The first option there is, is mouse. While aiming and sensitivity is a topic for another video, I quickly get into mine. I use 0.3 with 400 dpi, I transferred this over from CSGO where I use a very very low sense. This sense is hard to play for for like anybody who has like a decent to high sense because uh, it's insanely low. So don't go try it, but you could you could work around that if you already have a low sense. But for me, it's the best sense. Of course, you have to find your own sense. So that will be a topic for another video where I explain and how to do that. Uh, but these are my settings. Scope sensitivity multiplier is one. It's always best to keep it at one or 0 0.9 or 1.1. Don't go much above or below that. Invert mouse off. Cycle previous weapons uh, reps inventory off. Rotate, of course, on. Keep player centered off. Minimize uh, minimap size and minimap zoom is uh, for your own, uh, for yourself to set. So then, other show corpses, uh, mature content, blood indicators, and bullet traces. Of course, this will lower your FPS a little, but it's of course necessary to to know what's happening in the game. Uh, so you keep those on. So now we head over to uh, Crosshair, also a very uh, a very important aspect of the competitive play. So I use red myself because I feel like it's the best visibility at the moment in the game. I used green before, but I swapped to red. Um, then I have like everything off here. Um, so outlines is off, center dot is off, and movement and firing error is all off to keep a stable cursor that doesn't uh, move or get bigger or get smaller or increase decrease when you're firing because that is for most people, uh, not not the best way to go. So center dot is off as well. I'm gonna show you quickly my score so you can take them over if you like this crosshair. But now we're gonna get into the real deal. So first video, the general settings, resolution. I play at 144 hertz monitor. Make sure it's selected and enabled in Nvidia. Make sure 144 hertz is enabled in Nvidia. I will show you how to do that in a bit. But first we go through these settings. So of course you always play at full screen. If you don't play at full screen but at window, you're not able to get 144 hertz. But you will get a max hertz of 60. So be sure to watch that. Uh, then here my monitor is selected. With an aspect ratio of letterbox, that's fine. Uh, limit BTS, uh, limit FPS on battery, always off. Max FPS on battery, also off. And cap it to however high you can monitor can go plus a little extra. So mine is 144, so I cap everything. Uh, I don't cap it, but like it's set to 200. So max FPS always, limit always. Uh, no limiters, you don't want any of that. So then we go to graphics quality. Material quality, I got everything on medium. It's medium is fine, I got a really good PC, but if you don't, everything on low, everything. Then uh, VGNet, always uh, on or off, both is fine. You can check it out yourself. What is really important though is VSync is off. VSync is disabled. Uh, it can cause for most PCs uh, can cause lag, um, slight input lag. NTA lossing always off as well. It can create fog, blurry eff uh, blurry effects, not straight outlines. Um, Antistropic filtering again. I got a good PC, so I can I can get away with eight. But if you don't, just go lower. Eight is fine for me, but the best would be the lower, the more FPS. Improve improve clarity off because it's again this isn't a good competitive feature it's only going to add fog um enhance gun skin visuals if you like it you can put it on but there's no there's no need to distortion off of course shadows on because you can actually see shadows people walking from corners again that gains you a competitive advantage instead of uh making you lose it so for the stats i use text only uh, you shouldn't use you shouldn't use a graph it's covering like your entire screen uh, but this way you can actually keep track of how everything is running, your FPS as well as your ping and frame rate loss, etc, etc. So let's quickly get into audio. I didn't change anything from the start because I feel like the audio is perfect for me. Um, so these are my settings for audio. So take them over if you will. And uh, once that's done, we're going ahead and check out the outside game tweaks and updates and what you can do to actually gain FPS 
outside of Valorant, okay? So let's get into that. All right, guys, so for our out of the game tweaks, we head over to NVIDIA control panel. Right click anywhere in your desktop, click NVIDIA control panel, and you will be brought here, okay? So for 3D settings, if you have a bad PC, click use my preference enhancing and go all the way for performance, okay? If you don't have a bad PC, try to keep this at quality because it just looks much, much better uh, with, with it on quality or balance. But if you don't, for sure go for performance, okay? Manage 3D settings. Here it starts to get interesting. So image sharpening, sharpening off. You don't want any sharpening, you don't want any ambient occlusion. It's only gonna add weird lights, weird fog. The same goes for anthropic filtering and anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing always off. Gamma correction, on the other hand, of anti-aliasing should be uh, should be on. Anti-aliasing mode, application control. Transparency for anti-aliasing off. Then this is a very important setting, CUDAS, okay? Be sure to have checked the text uh, the checkbox of your GPU if you haven't, go try uh, go try ahead and try that out. It's going to give a massive boost in performance if you haven't done so already. And be sure it's selected to all, okay? So DSR factors got to be off. Low latency mode, even though it's just a low latency, you want that off. Any outside input that's going to mess with your latency and your input, you want that off. Because it's only going to mess things up and going to add outside factors that are only going to add to your latency and not lower it. Max frame rate, you want that off. You want no cap on your frame rate whatsoever, no limiters, because it you want to you want it to go as high as possible without hitting a roof, um, at least over over your frame rate of your monitor. So be sure to watch that. Multi frame sampling off. Uh, OpenGL rendering GPU auto select. That's fine. Power management again. Uh, here you're gonna get a massive gain if you haven't chosen for prefer maximum performance or optimal power. Okay, but you want to click prefer maximum performance then highest available this is about the preferred refresh rate be sure to have this ticked if you don't and you have a 144 hertz monitor and you're like why am i lagging i have a 144 hertz monitor it feels like i'm playing on high ping this is the reason be sure it's checked on highest available then share the cache you want on again texture filtering off uh texture filtering negative lod bias just allow it texture filtering quality i got it on quality because my pc can easily handle it I oftentimes put it down if I have trouble in any other game that is much bigger than this one because uh, Valorant actually has a really good engine running and it's it's overall the FPS you gain from playing Valorant is much higher than in many other games uh, or it's like very optimized at the moment. So be sure if you don't have a good PC to hit that lower and drag it all the way to uh, all the way down to high performance and don't leave it on quality. So for texture filtering, uh, trend layer optimization on. It's the best there is. Uh, threaded optimization, just put on an auto. Triple buffering, you want off. You don't want any buffering in advance. Anything that's going to mess with the current state or the, 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 the current moment you're playing in the game. You don't want anything loading up in advance. Uh, vertical sync, use 3D application settings and virtual pre-rendered frames. Just keep it at one. One is perfect. So uh, for configure surround physics, be sure to click GPU 1080 if your GPU is stronger than your CPU. Let's say I have an i5, but I have a 1080. Be sure to hit up the 1080. If I have i7 or uh, like i7 8700K with a 1080, both can be considered fine. But overall, the GPU is most often the better option. Okay, it's auto selector recommended. So for me, it already did that 1080. But if it doesn't, be sure to check the best option for you. All right, so change resolution. Again, if you don't have a resolution, um, uh, if you don't have the optimized frame rate, this is the solution. Go over to refresh rate and click the box 144 hertz and select your monitor. If you haven't done this yet and you have a 144 hertz monitor, this is gonna make a massive difference. Okay, uh, so if I adjust the desktop color settings. I change it sometimes, but it's for me currently at default. Adjust desktop size and position, okay? Make sure the scaling is on GPU and again resolution 1920 by 1080 and 144 hertz. All right, guys. So for the final part of the video, we're heading over to Windows settings. Okay, and you might think Windows settings that's not going to do anything for my PC. Well, it is, especially if you haven't touched it already. Okay, so we're heading over to gaming. There you see the game bar. If this box is ticked and it says on, you are going to be able to gain massive FPS. I'm talking 20, 30 FPS if you disable this all. Okay. So, record game clip screenshot and broadcasting using gaming bar off. 
capture. Then here it reads, record in the background while I'm playing the game. Have this off. It's constantly running in the background, legit recording every single thing you do while playing a game. If you don't have a good PC, that's taking a massive toll, massive toll on your FPS, okay? So be sure to hit this on off and you will gain instantly 20, 30 FPS by only this setting. The same goes for audio, just disable it, capture mouse cursor in recordings, also disable it. I'm never sure about this setting, but I feel like anything output, uh, any output outside, uh, you want to disable. So you don't want anything hovering over your mouse settings or sensitivity or cursor or anything. So once that's done, you go to your taskbar and you type task manager. Here your task manager opens up and you see Valorant. Have Valorant running because uh, that's the only way you will be, will be able to see it. Once that's done, you go into details, you click on Valorant Windows 64 shipping, head over to set priority and most likely it's at normal. If it's at normal, try above normal or high. This makes sure that your PC prioritizes Valorant and everything on your PC is focusing first on the game and after that after all uh, to all the tasks running on your PC. Because there's many tasks running on your PC, like many many. But it will make sure that Valorant is targeted first and this is the top priority. However, do never set it to real time. This oftentimes causes crashes of your game. Also if you have crashes on high, put it to above normal. Um, so you're sure you won't have any any issues with that but real time is an absolute no-go so don't do that now for the last and final settings of this video go over to power and sleep settings all okay. right you're gonna hit additional power settings and then this pops up currently it would be stated at hp recommended okay if it is at HP recommended be sure to put it at high performance also if it's a power saver be sure to it's uh, to make it set to high performance okay once that's done you pretty much optimize your PC for Valorant as best as you can there's a lot more small 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 tweaks to do but that won't have any major impact on your game if other videos tell you otherwise that isn't true this is everything you can do for basically boosting your FPS in Valorant or any game for that sense uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. It would actually help me out a ton. So go ahead and do that if you want to, if you liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day and I'll catch you later. See ya.